So we're going to put one right there. Yep. And then we're going to put the other one right there. Okay. And then we're, then we're going to go on the count of three. One. Uh, right. Well, that. Do you see that? Huh? That says onboarding. Do you know what that is? That is for new surgeons to do some training and learn how the cardiac system work, right? The heart and stuff, okay? That's the cardiac system. And they want me to take this course because apparently all of my other failures, uh, uh successive, uh, Re surgeon okay. because apparently all of my previous surgeries have not gone according to plan uh, which I can understand somehow because I'm, I'm a little bit shaking my hands but that's all I've tried my best so to, I'm, I need to do some onboarding but you know what I say to that <laughs> I laugh in the face of danger we're gonna go back from that okay and we are gonna see what kind of patients we have available and we're gonna pick one of them and we're gonna go do the surgery okay and we're gonna have a bunch of fun i mean we're gonna do it thoroughly as thoroughly as we can at least uh for the time being if i don't succeed with this i i might not be coming back ever again so yeah those things need to be attached and then we need to use the green gun and do some stuff. But apparently somebody else has already done it because I don't need to do anything. Everything, everything seems to be under control. However, the doctor that was here fainted and it is up to me now to take care of that. Okay, fear not. I've done this many times before. This is familiar territory. The only thing we need to do is to remove that foreign object from your leg. That's all we need to do. We just need to yank it out. All we need to do. But first, we need to make sure that you actually can't feel it. Uh, you shouldn't feel it. So, I'm just gonna poke around a little bit. Can you feel that? Oh, you can't feel it? Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna ramp it up then. Uh, <laughs> I really wanna try this one. Okay, uh, do I have any scalpels or anything? I only have these little nibbly bits that I can, I can, only, I can only grab onto small objects. <laughs> Get it? Cause you're, okay. Uh, can I grab your ear a little bit? I don't know what I'm doing, uh, to be honest. I'm just here for the fun of it. They, they, they thought, right, listen here. The people that are handling this hospital told me that I need to go to some onboarding school. <laughs> that is for beginners and people that don't know what they're doing, okay? And I am perfectly capable of, of taking care of, of myself. You're bleeding apparently. No, you're not. Not according to this one, you're not. So this one, don't need it, okay? It is for people that have breathing problems. What did I tell you about it? You don't need it. All right, right. So your arms over here. Well, can I just like, what if, what if I inst instead of trying to operate on you over here, why don't I take you to my own place, right? Where I've got some good. Oh, I can't move him from over here. His arm is stuck in the. It's fine. All right. Now we need to make sure that you can't feel anything. So I already tried that, but we're just gonna. Then we're gonna take a little bit of a blood sample, just like this, and we're gonna. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely, everything is okay, man. You're you're all good to go. I'm just gonna infuse you with a little bit of feeling goodness. So I'm just gonna take this over here, all right? And then we're just gonna gently fill this up. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, it's a little, it's a little bit stuck in there. There we go. All right, and then we're just gonna see what this does. So, boom. There we go. Oh no, I'm a little bit clumsy when it comes to stuff like this. I I am not a surgeon, as you could probably tell. I should not be doing things like this. But here we are, you know. We're doing things like this because there's nobody else here to do it. Let's be honest. Nobody else wants to do this, right? The previous doctor that was here fainted, which is why they've brought in the cavalry. Oh, well, this doesn't work for, for anything. Oh, maybe. Get in. There you go. Oh, my. It actually. But this is nonsense. Let me do it. There we go. This jams for some reason. I don't know why it jams. It just doesn't allow me to refill. Okay. It's All right. So that one does not work. Uh, I, I, I broke. I broke the tool already. So. We're just gonna leave it there for now. And, um, oh, look at this! The foreign object is just about to come out on its own. I don't need to do anything. Just gonna use these ones. I'm gonna grab onto it like this. There you go. And we're just gonna gently ye- <sighs> Um, right, let's just get this. There you go, got it out. And then the, all we need, all the thing we need, we just need, to, we just need to close the wounds, and we're good to go. That's how easy it is. And we do it with the green goo. Okay, we just spray the green goo over there, just like so, and we're good to go. Look at this operation successful. Didn't see that one coming, did you? You see, I don't need to go to some onboarding stuff. I can handle whatever they throw at me. There's nothing in this list that I can't do. Okay, because I am an expert surgeon. <laughs>
Oh, look at that! Fragments extraction! Somebody arrived at the hospital with some nuts and bolts loose. Okay, so that's why they, they ordered in me to take care of it. Um, how hard can it be? It's just some, it's just some fragments. Oh, buddy, you have been in, oh, you're, you're, the needle is moving when you're moving your eye. Hello? <laughs> can you feel that? Is that, is that, does that hurt at all? Or is it, um, oh, this is, this is gnarly. This is not good. Okay. I don't know what you've been doing, but this is clearly not okay. And I'm going to fix you up. Probably. Yeah, it really depends on, oh, what is this? It's like sort of a, some sort of a scissor tool. Does it work? I don't know what this. I don't know what this is for. I, I've never seen this in my entire life. Is it, is it is it like a nail clipper? Do I need to clip your nails? Let's have a look here. Uh, eeny meeny miny mo. I wonder which finger will go. <coughs> okay. All right, I can't. I can't actually do it. Uh, so I'm just gonna gently grab onto this, right? And we're just gonna pull it out slowly. All right? No harm, no fault. Look at that. Easy. And then we put it in there. Like it's never been there before. Okay. We're just gonna use a little bit of the green stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's spilling. Now I I might need I might need to take the one in your in your eye out. This one, this one over here. So if you could just if you could just like squint, maybe. Okay. Oh, maybe I need these tools again. Okay. Don't move now, otherwise it might feel a little bit strange. Oh! Oh no! That happens from time to time, okay? It's not just me that does that, okay? But I fixed you up real good. Just follow the finger, follow the finger. Yeah, that looks completely normal to me. That looks like you're all in there somehow. There you go, let's just put some over there. Now you only got five five of these foreign objects remaining. Now, what happens if I push them in further? Just a little bit like this. What happens if we, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh, 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 oh no, no, no. Don't say a word, don't do it. I know you want to say something. Okay, that wasn't him, right? He had stuff sticking out of his head and it was really tempting to just go in there and push them in. You should not push objects deeper into the into the brain. It's not it's not good for you. Uh, it's not, but you know what is good for you? Coffee, coffee is really good for you. Coffee is the thing I need right now. There, here we go. Let's take a little bit of lung. Oop, maybe not then. A little bit of stomach, there you go. Stomach acids, gotta get them down there. And then uh, liver, whatever this is, sure. Uh, some of that, cool, just go in there. Okay, and just stir it around. Ooh, this is this is good. This is this is a lovely, lovely cup of coffee. Lovely cup of lovely. Ooh, fan. It makes the air go fast around me. Ah, here we go. Oh, the world's best surgeon. Look, it says right here, I'm the best surgeon here. Right? Nobody, nobody should be scared of. Oh, look at that leg amputation. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, they literally ordered it. That's why. That's why it's on the screen there. See that one? Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why it's on the screen. That's why it's on the screen there. Here, buddy what kind of pose is that i've not seen that before but i'd like it it suits you so i'm just gonna go in real quick do the leg amputation thing in mcbob and then we're gonna be done okay it's all gonna be uphill from here downhill uphill it's just easy going forward that's it hey buddy hello i'm your doctor dr whack but I have to clarify that I'm not a doctor. They, they've told me that I need to say that. But it's okay, because I'm I, I'm practicing medicine. That's a lie. I'm not. I'm just eating ibuprofen every now and then. This leg needs to be gone. Right? At least that's according to the screen here. Well, let's not look at that. That is too... That's too much. We don't want to look at that. Oh, no. Uh, but this one needs to go, right? It needs to be cut right over there. We need to replace it with this one. How hard can it be? It's the easiest thing in the book, right? Leg replacement surgery. <laughs> Oh, that's foul. Did you feel that? Oh, boy. Uh, I've got a scalpel. That's that's what we're going to have to do. And you know what's really, really painful? Right? It's when you stick something sharp right into your heel. Into, into the heel. Here you go. There you go. Oh, he actually felt... Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Oh, we, need, we need to remedy the situation right now. There we go. Just like this. We're just going to make your heel a little bit blue. Yeah? Ah... It's actually a medical thing, this, but I'm wasting it like it's paint. There you go. All right. You know what? Nurse! Nurse! I need to clean up. Oh, there we go. Nurse went in here and cleaned everything up. That's good, right? It's not for me. I'm a doctor. I don't do cleaning business. No, uh, not from... Oh, <laughs> she also turned around the screen. We don't want to look at that. We want to forget about what that said. We are going to send some minor uh, electricity through your leg. Just to make sure that the nerves are not at fault here. So we're going to put one right there. Yep. And then we're going to put the other one right there. Okay. And then we're, then we're going to go on the count of three. One. 
Uh, well, that I think that short circuited something. Welcome back, buddy. I, I think that didn't didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. It did something though. Uh, ECG, AD, EEG, brain oxygen. Everything everything looks good. Everything looks fine. Right. So anyway, let's just get this road on the show then. So what do we need before we even start operating on your leg? We need some blood, which is perfect because we've got it right over here. A B. Now, what does that say? S something positive. What? What is positive? Is this? Is this AB positive? Oh no! Oh, I ordered AB negative. Uh, how? What's the plus minus? Who cares? Uh, it's just, it's just a plus or a minus. Nobody, nobody, nobody cares. So I'm gonna fill this syringe up with some blood. Okay, just like this. And then if something goes horribly wrong, we can just fill you up with some new precious blood. There you go. All right, just gonna leave that over there with the bag. Or actually, you can hold on to the bag. There you go. And then give it to me when I ask for it. And then we can begin the operation. Now, first things first, we need to cut the skin a little bit. Uh, the best thing to do it is probably with this high-powered, high-efficiency, no-injury laser. But that's not for me. You know, I'm old school, okay? I like to do things the old school way, which is why I'm bringing a scalpel. Okay, this one, we're just gonna... Through the skin, it's all gonna be nice and dandy. There you go. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we just need to finish off this little, this little bit at the bottom here. You know, we just need to do that one, and then the legs just gonna come off, right? And once the leg comes off, we're gonna use this new hand dandy leg. We're just gonna replace it. That's as easy as it comes. Don't fear, man. Don't you, don't you be scared. This is. I've done this so many times. I can actually almost do it in my sleep. Here we go then. Uh, just if you could just. Hold on to that. Let's hope there's no holes in the bag, because if there is, there isn't. Okay, uh, right. So let's just get on with this then. So we need the leg on, and then we need to put the new one on. And that's how we do it. So we're just gonna, just gonna skin over here, just like this a little bit. There you go. 98%. It's about to pop off, so... Oh, you should bite onto something. Who am I kidding? Hammer. That's it. No. You know what? I've used the hammer before. The hammer is never good. It's too hard. You just bite onto that. Go. And there we go. Nice. Perfect. And then the only thing we need to do, right? Don't you don't be scared now. This is all a part of the process, right? So we cut the little the little artery things and then we're going to use we're going to use the tool here to get rid of of the bone. Uh, there we go. And then once the bone's gone, we can just take the new one and splunk it right in there. Just like this. Oh, there we go. Ah, good enough. There you go. And then, then we need to give you some, uh, some of this. <clears throat> I didn't actually need to do that. Apparently he will live. You see, that's how easy it is. I don't need to be a doctor. I don't need to do any sort of schools, especially not onboarding, because I know how everything works already, right? I know. <sighs> the best doctor there is.